Today I actually got a pretty cool video for you guys. My business partner Samir and I actually got invited to speak at one of our biggest mentors, Ty Lopez's event that he's having. My buddy Jay and Gross is actually over there right now dropping some fire and they invited the boys to come over and also share some, you know, some other e-commerce strategies. So we're gonna go over there and drop some fire upon the head top. Okay, so we here at Ty's place. I got my friend Kat here. The key is to have as many fish as possible. The high ceilings. Steven came through the Aventador rolls. We need one of those. A couple of these for sure. It's a sick watch you got there, dude. A whole lot of gang gang. The boys are about to go out there and crush that. Does everyone have a Shopify store? Everybody that comes to your door is like very likely to end up buying something. Every email list is different, so it's not like this exact same thing works for everybody. But you want to test it out to find out, you know, what what works best for your email list. Yeah, Yo, you stuff. taking the bag, bro, or what? Dude, that's a sick one, dude. That's what we're talking about. Secure the bag. <laughs> See, secure the bag summit. Secure the bag all 2018. We're gonna do what it do, and then we're off to the hill. So how can you be more effective as an entrepreneur? while running an e-commerce and dropshipping business. For those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Juan Valdez, and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the BFAM. I actually got a request from you know one of you guys and also one of my followers on social media that wanted to know somewhat of the routine and uh, schedule that I kind of had, or me and Samir kind of had when we were first getting started e-commerce and dropshipping, because obviously you guys know, when it comes down to e-commerce and dropshipping, there's a, obviously a few different parts of the business, so sometimes it can get a little overwhelming deciding on like what to work on first thing in the day, what to work on later on, and a whole lot more. Pretty much a day, I, day by day, uh, I try to map out you know, somewhat of my day, you know, first thing in the morning, right? So I'll start looking at my emails. I won't answer them, I'll just open it to get an idea of what's going on there. Then I'll go through the you know the store setup, uh, see what the numbers are looking like for the previous day up to date, uh, and just some of the things that I have to check in with, you know, as far as like if you have any support emails, social media accounts if you have to post on there. I pretty much just check every all the parts of the business that we have to you know do something in for that same day. So I'll do a quick run through, just have an idea of what I need to do, and then I'll write all those things down. And when I kind of got wanted to get the day started, the routine was pretty simple. What I would do first is I would start by doing product research. That was a good part of my day, you know, just really finding hot and trending products. I would spend probably two or three hours a day doing product research. After I do product research, I would then get that list ready, send it out to Samir, start setting up the Facebook campaigns for those products. We would then start going through the previous Facebook ad campaigns that we had and kind of going through the numbers, killing the ones that aren't working and scaling any winners if we had one. After we take care of actually launching the campaigns, that's when we would transition into other things like, you know, doing any changes we need to do on our store, you know, if we had to change a theme, if we had to add any new products. I would also do uh, store research. I would look and try to find other people's stores that I can model. Uh, to kind of learn the things that they're doing and see what I, I was potentially doing wrong. So that's what I would do, you know, in the later half of the day. So later in the day, we would then go and search up Instagram influencers, you know, narrow down, just like the process of, I posted a video just recently on the process that of how we find these influencers. It wasn't that good. That's like the finalized process, like up to date. That's pretty much the routine that I had. I forgot to mention the email marketing. So I started doing email marketing a little bit before we started doing Instagram influencers. And But it, at that time, I wasn't getting any results with it because I didn't know what I was doing. But basically, I would, I would spend the second half of the day preparing emails for the fall for that day but also the following day after a while i ended up finding out that the ideal time for my specific email list was actually like around 6 to 7 p.m i don't know why i think that's just the time that you know people got out of work out of here on our time but it's pretty weird because we had customers all over the world but yeah you know nothing crazy as far as like the routine that i had but that's somewhat of the structure that i you know we had when we first got started in our e-commerce business and it's a similar structure that you guys can have so Again, nothing crazy, but that is the same structure that we did, you know, for probably like two, three months straight. And that's how we were able to really generate, you know, those kind of results. I mean, now we've crossed uh, the million dollar mark with our Shopify stores, but it, at first, like, it definitely was not easy. I mean, it took a lot of work. So I thought I'd figure, you know, I thought I'd simply share the routine we kind of had that way, you know, for anyone just getting started. I personally feel like that's a really effective routine. The name of the game for e-commerce and dropshipping is consistently finding hot and trending products. So that should be the first thing you do in the day. Really spend that time to find these hot and trending products. So yeah, that's pretty much the schedule that you know we had you know, day in and day out. If you guys wanna see more videos like this where we're sharing our, our routines or the kind of the process that we have for any specific part of our e-commerce and dropshipping business, make sure you leave me a like. Also, 
uh, leave me a comment. Let me know, you know, kind of the process that you guys have so far. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Bye.